Hey everybody, Matt Johnston here with the Johnston Business Law Group. We're still talking about the Americans with Disabilities Act and the responsibilities of tenants and landlords in commercial buildings. In the previous video, we talked about what is a place of public accommodation and generally how the responsibility for certain things are going to be handled between landlords and tenants. In this video, we're going to be talking about ordering of work. So before we get started, I really would appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button that you see down there below. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notice when we have posted some new information. So let's assume for a moment you are in an older building. And the reason why I say older building is buildings built prior to 1990 may or may not have the necessary accommodations for, for those with disabilities uh, to access and use the building. Buildings built after 1990 generally comply, um, largely because the ADA was in existence at that time, and so buildings and construction could be done to accommodate uh, and provide accommodations for those with disabilities. But let's say you're in an older building and you need to do some retrofit. Um, retrofitting can be very, very expensive. And when it's very expensive, it's a little difficult to uh, figure out what is going to be done uh, and in what order. Well, fortunately, the regulations regarding the Americans with Disabilities Act does have some guidance and some suggestions in which you should take. So first, a place of public accommodation should make access to the place a priority. Okay, that includes from sidewalk, from parking spaces, from public transportation. So these would include uh, entrance ramps, widening the entrances, providing accessible parking spaces. Um, sometimes widening, widening the entrances is something as simple as getting offset hinges for the door that allow the door to open wider or to use the entire width of the door uh, to accommodate, for example, wheelchairs. So once you have gotten access into the space taken care of, the next thing that a, public, a place of public accommodation should be looking at is making sure it's accessible in the places where the goods and services are available to the public. So you may need to rearrange tables in a restaurant. You may need to rearrange display racks in a, a retail store. Um, you may need to provide uh, bra braille and or uh, raised surfaces for uh, those who are visually impaired, um, visual alarms for things like fire alarms and stuff like that. So first, so after you've made the place accessible and after you've made the services accessible, you might need to then look at upgrading your restroom facilities. And that would include removing obstacles, accessing the, the restroom, widening the doors, installing uh, transfer bars, things of that nature. Fourth, you want to take a look at any, um, uh, any other measures necessary to provide access to the goods, services, facilities, privileges, advantages, or accommodations of a place. Um, and then, um, if you have done all of that and it still turns out that you can't really make a readily achievable thing, then you can look at temporary things like a portable ramp, for example, to allow those with um, uh, who, who need wheelchair access and stuff like that to get in and out of the building. So it's not always easy and all of these accommodations can be very, very expensive. So the, the ADA provides that list. So first is access to the building. Second is access to the goods and services. Third is restroom and other facility access. And fourth is sort of the cleanup, catch all, get everything done. Um, if you are not sure what you should be doing and in what order, that's a good time to give us a call. We can certainly sit down and work with you as a t small business tenant and your landlord to figure out what is the best way of managing these kinds of access issues and compliance issues with the Americans with Disabilities Act. In the meantime, uh, if you have any questions, please schedule a consultation. You can use the link that you see down below. In the meantime, go outside and watch some live soccer. We'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.